Hi guys, welcome to Emergency Prepared this week. Um, if you didn't catch the, the blog from yesterday about what's on the prep list, um, you're going to want to go back, take a look at that prep list and see how you're doing. And today we're going to take a closer look at a, a couple of items that most cat owners probably don't have on hand or wouldn't even think about to have on hand. Um, and the reason that I want to talk about them today is what happens in springtime. High winds, storms, tornadoes that may end up pushing you out of your home. And depending on the scale of the emergency, you may be stuck having to keep your cat in this little itty bitty carrier for 72 hours or longer. Let's take a look at some one, couple of options that you might want to think about to have in your go bag for your pets. Hi guys, as part of our week long series on getting ready for the spring season, I want to take a minute and actually show you <laughs> this, this foldable, transportable carrier, uh, not carrier, but playpen for pets. Um, it's really quite large, quite big. Um, it will accommodate one cat and, and a litter, and a, a small litter box will actually fit inside. Um, when I brought Maple inside um, for the first few weeks, she actually spent her recovery time in one of these because she had that injured paw. So, so they're, they're mesh, so it rolls down and you can roll the doors up. It has little Velcro things here for you to, get, to, to be able to get them in. Um, it also comes, it can be open on the top if, if you want, but it also has a mesh cover that literally just zips right around for them to, to, to be secure. And in the event that you need to do an evacuation for whatever reason, if you're going, thinking, oh, well, I'll evacuate to a hotel room or a pet-friendly hotel, that's great that you're able to do that. Um, but there may be times when you may not be able to do that. And you may need to be going to a um, shelter-type location. Some of them will accept, this is sooty. Um, <laughs> some of them will accept pets and some of them will not accept pets roll this bad boy up there ah, yeah there we go and some of them will not accept pets so that's something to keep in mind if you're going to a shelter with cats um, having them in their little tiny carriers for a week let's say a week even 72 hours is really hard on them this is where having something like this to be able to pop it open, get them set up with their bed, their blankets that they recognize is really super beneficial. Now, one of the cool things, like I said, is this thing is actually collapses. <laughs> We're going to try and do this on camera. We'll see what happens. But you have to unzip everything and then the bottom the bottom also zips off so if you need to you can take unzip it and take it out to wash it off if there's an accident or something that happens so then unzip this and as you can see all my cats hi lily what are you doing yeah, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> All the cats like, they like this. They're, they're used to it. They know what it is. It's very familiar to them. 
Um, I, this is what I have set up all the time for them. Um, it actually has a bed, usually has a bed in it um, that any one of the kitties can go in and out and enjoy <laughs> enjoy the, the, the pop-up tent, the pop-up kitty tent. Okay, kiddo, you need to go out. Thank you. So once you undo and unzip everything, this is the tricky part. It actually, <laughs> Lily, <laughs> she says, oh, are we doing something, Mom? Are we going somewhere? It actually folds down. fold down it has a little it has a little strap on it it goes around to hold it together and then it actually even has its own carrying case so if that strap for some reason should break or whatever or you just want to have a separate one for your go bag for an evacuation bag in the event of a period where you know with the weather crazy weather that we can get and you need to maybe leave or evacuate your for a little while you now have now have and it's lightweight it's super lightweight so if this is something that you want to think about having available ready to go in the event that you are in an evacuation situation um, like I said the cats my cats love them. they love this thing um, and um, it will fit a, a kitty bed and it will fit their litter box so once you get wherever you're going, you can pop it open. They're contained. They're not gonna hide under beds, under cots, run away, get snagged up somewhere, somebody's house, you can't find them. You can give them what they recognize, their little kitty den. I also would include with that um, a blanket or a cover that you can throw over it um, if they are particularly stressed. And of course, you want to throw in some feel away in there, and it'll be they'll be all set to spend some time in evacuation. Okay, this is your other option um, to consider. Uh, I don't I don't typically recommend it just because of the sheer weight of one of these things, um, but it is an option. These are collapsible metal crates. Um, Again, again, they're not terribly expensive. A um, couple of advantages, of course, is it does fold down <laughs> like a map, just like the other thing did. Another benefit to using something like this um, is, again, it's going to be large enough that you can put a shelf in here. You can get a shelf. You can get shelves to go in here. So then you have the the food, water, litter box on the lower level or on the upper level, and um, it's a little it's a little bit bigger. The other thing that is nice with them is the trays. The tray is able to be slid out. That if you're cleaning and you don't want to take your pet out of the crate because it's just too dangerous or it's too risky, you can pull the tray out from the back and clean up any kitty messes that may be there that they have made. <laughs> so this is another option. And again, you know, this one could probably accommodate, with a shelf in it, will probably easily accommodate two cats um, for a short period of time for a quick bug out to a safe location um, due to a flood in the home or due to a tornado um, causing the area to be unsafe and you need to evacuate. 
So that's my, that, that's the spiel for today. Talking about, oh my God, what do I do when we have to evacuate? Well, even, you're not gonna leave your cat in a little tiny carrier. Not if you can help it. This, this guy, I think, ran me 40 or $50. The little pop-up thing, um, as you saw, there's a link in the original post um, for that. And it is it, 20, $23 to $25, why not? It's a, it, it's a worthwhile investment just to have tucked away with your go bag stuff and your bug out stuff. Um, and if you don't have a bug out bag, you need to get one. Um, at least a 72 hour setup for yourself and for your cats if you need to bug out. That's it today. Have a good Monday.